Hello, my name is Aryan Tribe, and I've been doing card magic for about a year now. And today, I hope to show you some of those tricks that I've learned this past year. For starters, I found that magicians have a knack for changing reality. And what I mean by that is we can I'll actually let you see for yourself. We have a card over here, the Eight of Clubs, and it looks like an ordinary Eight of Clubs, but don't be necessarily fooled. Because as magicians, we can make magic happen just like that. So that is some of the kind of magic that I want to show to you today. And to do that, I'm going to need the help of three very powerful cards, but a little bit on that later. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the deck a quick shuffle, just like that, really mix up the cards. And what I want Adi to do, my spectator, is I want him to just select any card that he wants from this pack. Any card, go ahead. That one? Okay, show it to the camera. I'm turned around so I cannot see it. We've memorized it. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll take it, we'll put it right in the middle of the deck. I cannot possibly see where it is. Now what we'll do is I'm gonna introduce you to those three very powerful cards. I'm just gonna go through the deck like this. All right, here's one. Here is two, and here is three. These are the three most powerful cards in the deck of cards, and I'll actually give you a quick introduction to them right now. The first most powerful card in the deck of cards is the Ace of Spades, all right? We'll set that down over here. The second most powerful card in the deck is the Two of Spades. We'll set it next to the Ace. And the third most powerful card in the deck, that's gonna be the Three of Spades. And watch the Three of Spades. We'll actually try something special with it. We can take it, we'll set it over here. We can dribble all of these cards on top of it, really make a mess. But the magic of the three of spades is that if I snap, three of spades will come to the top, just like that. Now, the same thing can happen with the two of spades, except the two of spades works in reverse. We can take it, we can put it at the top of the deck. And if we just push, the magic of the two of spades is that it can come to the bottom. But it's the ace of spades that's the most powerful card of all. And actually, Adi, let's do this in your hand, okay? Go ahead and hold out your hand. The reason the Ace of Spades is the most powerful card in the deck is because, watch this, it's a little bit of magic. The Ace of Spades can do that. And that is your very same card, the Two of Hearts. For my final act, I'm gonna try something that will be extremely difficult. It's a piece of mentalism that uses completely blank cards. They're blank on both sides. And what I'm gonna have Adi do is I just want him to select one of these blank cards. Just touch one, just touch one. This one? Yes. All right, go ahead. I want you to just take it out. And what I want you to do is I want you to draw any normal object on it. It can be something completely random or something personal to you. I'm gonna turn around so I cannot see it. Draw it. Okay, is it face down? Yes. All right. So we'll just insert it here is good. We'll take it, insert it. I want the camera and you really burn that image in your head, just like that, okay? Yes. So what we'll do now is we'll take your card, okay? Very fairly, I'm gonna push it into the middle of the pack. So there's really no way I'll be able to figure out what your card is, right? So I wanna make a drawing of my own, okay? The magic of this is I'm gonna try and figure out what you decided to draw, okay? I'm gonna, just gonna Use this marker over here. Yeah, so this looks good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. All right. So I'll keep this over here. So, Adi, I want you to find your card over here, right? But before you do that, you drew something. You drew something quite interesting. It was, it was something that can be found in any house, right? Yes. All right. I think I know what it is. You drew a door, right? Yes. But my magic is that I also happen to draw a door, just like that, and possibly almost identical images. And I hope you enjoyed that whole magic presentation. Thank you for watching.